Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's uh, a real pleasure to be, uh, to be uh, presenting to you today. Uh, and again, you know, what fantastic surroundings we've got. Um, I'm, I work for a company called iWireless Solutions. Um, we're a small company, and as such, only get a small number of slides. So I've got one slide to present, but I will be drawing heavily on, on, on previous uh, slides that you'll have seen over the course of today. Um, we are a specialist company uh, developing high capacity solutions for uh, in-building systems. Um, you'll have heard uh, Derek talking about targets for uh, LTE penetration of 98% of the country. Now, traditionally, doing that from uh, external masts and rooftops is quite difficult. Um, you know, radio signals don't go through walls too easily, generally. So you have to, to develop uh, in-building solutions to, um, you know, to, to meet that demand. Um, we specialise in doing it in complex and challenging environments. Um, you know, we, we, we do multiple technologies. We do 3G, 2G. You know, we're looking at 4G, uh, and, and also uh, um, PMR, which is for the emergency services. Um, main reason I'm here is, um, as you'll see, we've just completed a, an extensive programme uh, to deploy uh, high-capacity wireless solutions into a lot of the. the the UK's most recent um, sporting venues, and yes, I, I am talking about the Olympics <laughs> uh, in, in East London. I mean, the Olympics has been a massive catalyst for growth and for demand and capacity. You know, you, you've heard earlier about the, 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 the advent of the smartphone and the iPad driving um, device penetration within the, the country and within, you know, globally, uh, and that leads to a high demand for, for these types of services. Um, as a result, people's expectations are to have that connectivity everywhere. And so we were tasked to sort of uh, be able to provide that sort of degree of capacity um, for the games. Now, how do you do that? Um, you know, when you're faced with a, essentially a blank sheet of paper, um, you know, we, we had a lot of venues that weren't complete. You know, we just had a load of plans on, on a sheet of paper. Um, you know, and, and we were tasked with, with almost raising that, the, the current level of, of capacity and, and experience by a factor of 10, you know, we're asked to provide that sort of capacity uplift. Well, <clears throat> one of the things that uh, Jerry alluded to and, and some of the others this morning is that, you, you know, you don't come to these things with, with, a, with a complete out-of-the-box idea and expect it to work first time. So we looked around, you know, we, we've done designs for, for sports stadiums anywhere from 10,000 to, to 80,000 seated people. Um, and we looked around and, and you know, with our colleagues from, from O2, um, who sponsored the England rugby team, you know, we found that Twickenham uh, Stadium in West London is of a similar size. So we used Twickenham almost as a test bed to develop these high capacity solutions. Um, and over you know, the last couple of years, we've managed to uplift the capacity there by a factor of 10. We, we now have, whereas before, you had maybe four sectors of um, you know, cellular communications within a stadium environment. And I don't know how many of you here regularly go to, to sporting events, but generally the, the perception was that, that, that performance was poor and it's very difficult to get connect connectivity. Well, we've now managed to uplift that to around 40 sectors within Twickenham Stadium, uh, and we've rolled out those similar experiences and similar practices that we've learned um, across the park, uh, and, and not just the Olympic Park, but uh, all the ex external venues that are being used as well. So as I said, so in the last three years we've had this build program. I'd say in the last nine months we've probably rolled out solutions to over um, 15 venues um, uh, across the country, uh, as I said, ranging from about 10,000 spectators to 80,000 spectators. Uh, and, and we're only a company of 30 people, so we've been very, very busy. And, we, and you know, we're, we are now seeing the, the fruits of that uh, and the fact that, you know, that all the systems are live now and things are, are, are looking quite good, touch, touch wood. Um, so, really, just you know, summarising, you know, where, where does this leave us as a company? Well, you know, I, I think there's a vast amount of accumulated knowledge that we've, we've acquired in the last few years. We've established some fantastic relationships with our partners, which are O2, BT, uh, all the all the UK operators. Um, you know, we've worked extensively with Airwave, who provide uh, coverage for the emergency services and also for operation operational use um, at these events. And so, you know, fundamentally, I think that. Pr puts us at the forefront of global expertise on this type of solution. Not just this type of solution, we are already beginning to roll out the, the lessons that we've learned across uh, other projects in the country, so we also look at, at hospitals, um, airports, railway stations, that sort of environment, so you know, we're, we're truly specialists in the in-building environment. 
what I would say is that one of the lessons to learn, I think, that, you know, as we go forward, is that, that you know, the messages you'll hear today are, are, are about the increasing uh, demand, inc increasing complexity of, of getting all these technologies to the customer. Um, you know, the, fundamentally, that involves more complexity in the infrastructure. And to get this infrastructure into to, to events like this, like the Olympics, like the World Cup, for example, you have a certain limited amount of time. And whereas before you may have had the chance to, to, to do a lot of learning as you go, you know, such as the complexity of these things now that you can't really afford to start from scratch. Um, I think hopefully the legacy knowledge that we've learned from this experience will be transferred to those um, upcoming uh, events and, and, and way forward um, so that no one is starting from scratch and, and, and the learning from our experiences. So that's all.